SQL injection, the hacking technique that's been around longer than some of you have been alive, is still causing nightmares for developers and sysadmins everywhere. Imagine you're building a web app and you've got a search bar where users can look up their favorite Pokemon. You write a simple SQL query that looks something like this. This is the wrong way to do it because it directly concatenates user input into the SQL statement, making it a prime target for an attack. Now let's say a user searches for Pikachu. The app plugs that input into the query so it looks like this, and it works just fine. But what if someone then decides to get clever and enter something like this instead? Now the query that your code runs will look like this. At this point, the SQL query does something you didn't intend. The apostrophe closes off the assignment to the user input variable. The semicolon is the command separator, and drop table Pokemon is appended as a new command. The trailing dash dash comments out any remaining characters. When the command runs, the query runs first, then the drop table Pokemon command is executed, which means the entire Pokemon table is deleted from your database. This shows how one poorly constructed SQL statement can turn your database into a ticking time bomb, one careless input away from total disaster. So how does SQL injection work? It's all about manipulating the SQL query through user input. When your app takes user input and stuffs it directly into a SQL statement without any checks, hackers can execute arbitrary SQL commands, potentially accessing, altering, or even deleting your entire database. This probably wasn't part of your story for the search feature. So why is this still a problem today? Two reasons, laziness and legacy code. Developers often assume user inputs are safe to use, which is a bad assumption. And with so much legacy code still running in production, it's no wonder SQL injection continues to be a top vulnerability. To prevent SQL injection, you need to use parameterized queries or prepared statements. Instead of concatenating input directly to construct a SQL statement, you should be using parameterized queries and then bind user input safely to the parameters. In languages like Python, it's as simple as this. Just one small change in how you handle user input and you've prevented SQL injection. ORM tools like SQL Alchemy in Python or Hibernate in Java are great because they handle parameterization for you, turning your raw SQL into safe, structured queries. This has been SQL Injection in 120 seconds. Thanks for watching and remember to always begin secure.